can't believe it. We're already halfway into July. I'm not ready. It's just flying by. This is insane. Can someone please hit the brakes? Um, I'm so happy to be live with you guys. My name is Tiffany Almeida. I'm with Pretty and Paper Crafts, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. I go live every Sunday for Coffee and a Card, where I show you Stampin' Up! product, and I create these super fun projects that you can recreate, and you'll have the tutorials, the project sheet. It's on my blog. I have a blog post for every Sunday that I go live. You guys, it's so much fun. And I have the Whale Done bundle today that you are going to absolutely love. So this is the Whale Done Bundle. You guys, it's a punch and I love punches. Makes me so happy inside to see a punch, yay! You have no idea. Um, this is a really fun bundle. I love the ocean, I love the water, I love the turtles. Everything about this set is so me. So I'm very excited to show you guys what I created with them. These are the three projects for the Make and Takes. There's the first is this adorable jellyfish card, and I don't know if you can see the texture and of embossing here on this card, but the old world paper embossing folder, doesn't that make it look like a watery scene? Isn't that cool? So this is the old world embossing folder. So now we're gonna do this kind of watery looking card. And like I said, we're gonna be using that old world embossing folder, but not yet. We have, I cut out a Stitch So Sweetly die uh, in Whisper White, and we're gonna stamp this jellyfish. We're gonna make a little underwater scene with the jellyfish and some seaweed and some coral. So the colors that I used for this, for the jellyfish I used Blackberry Bliss, Bumblebee, oh that's dirty, and Pool Party. Now, I didn't just pick these randomly. They were actually in colors that coordinated with the designer series paper. So if you don't know where to start, you can always go look at a designer series paper pack and see what colors are they using together. So I chose colors that were in this suite. So the other colors that I used for the seaweed and the coral are shaded spruce and calypso coral, okay? First, we're gonna stamp these jellyfish. So I have my baby wipe handy because I've got to clean my my stamp in between. So pool party jellyfish first. We'll do that here off to the side. There's our pool party one. Then we've got our Blackberry Bliss one. I love colorful jellyfish. I think that's really, really cute. This is um, grid paper that you can order. It's brand new grid paper using, and it features the new in color, um, new in colors. And you can order it right from the um, store. Just search for grid paper and I believe it will just come up there. Okay, I don't understand why this keeps getting dirty. I don't know how I'm touching it. Okay, so our jellyfish are stamped. Now let's do our seaweed. I didn't use this color. I lied to you guys. I didn't use shaded spruce. You know what I used? I used pretty peacock. Gotta get my head right. All right, so ink up your seaweed. I did a couple times of stamping, so stamped off and stamped again. Um, and that way I kind of got like two-toned seaweed. So stamped off stamped off. There we go. So we've got kind of different layers of color. Then we have our coral in Calypso Coral. You're welcome. Yeah, you'll definitely want to check it out. I love, love, love it. Very fun. Okay, so Calypso Coral for our coral down there. So now we've got our little, um, our little scene, our underwater scene. The other thing that I did before I went and embossed is I took my pool party ink and I took an aqua painter. I haven't even tried the new water painters yet, um, but I, have, I bought them, but I haven't tried them. Have, has anybody tried the new water painters? So these are the old aqua painters that Stampin' Up! used to sell and they changed them to these water painters, which are cheaper and they have a fine tip 
a thicker brush tip. And look at that. Let's try this one. Well, I don't have it filled with water, so I guess I can't try it. But oh my gosh, so cool. So I'm really excited for these new brushes. I love the little package that they come in, and I like that they're cheaper. I get three for $12 instead of two for 17, I think it was. So that's very cool. Okay, so for now I'm just gonna use the old, but just know that there's better and newer stuff out there. Um, I'm looking for my pool party ink. Oh, right here in front of me. And I'm just squishing my lid so that ink gets here inside my the lid. If you don't like a messy inside lid, which it doesn't bother me whatsoever, but if you don't like that, you can also take a, just a block and a clear block and stamp it and get ink on the block and then pick it up from there. Same thing. And the nice thing is you can just wipe the block clean and then you won't have a mess, but this doesn't bother me. Um, so I'm just filled my aqua painter with water. I'm picking up the color. Oh, I should point out my base is shimmery white cardstock. I use shimmery white because I can color with water on it and it's not going to peel or, or make a mess like the regular cardstock. So I'm just going to get my aqua painter really, really wet and really juicy. And I'm just going to give it a little water wash here, a little pool party water wash. And I don't want it very dark. not my intent to make it super dark. I just want it to kind of stand out a little bit against the white when I emboss it. Okay, so I'm just spreading the ink. This middle part won't even show, so that doesn't even matter. Okay, so I've just got my little wash. It, and again, not super noticeable or anything like that. Okay, now we're going to emboss them. So let me clean off my brush here. We are going to emboss these two pieces. We're gonna emboss them with that old world embossing folder. Now you're gonna have two different choices to make. You're gonna have a choice where your embossing is indented like this, like the inside of my card, or you're gonna have a choice where your embossing, your embossing is extended. I don't know, I don't know these words. People have tried to teach me and you guys just need to give up because I, I don't get it. But anyways, you're gonna have an indentation or a opposite of an indentation. Now, if you want an indentation, you use the Stampin' Up! logo side of the embossing folder facing up. It's going to indent it. But if you turn it around, it will be raised, like Tammy says. Thanks, Tammy. It'll be raised, and you'll have the bumpy side going forward. I liked the raised look, um, so I'm going to do it with the back side of the embossing folder with the front of my stamp. So what I'm gonna do is take my regular embossing plate with the embossing adapter. So here's my plate, here's the blue adapter. And I'm gonna run this through. Okay, so there is my embossed image. Super cool, right? It looks like underwater. Now we're going to do the exact same thing with this piece. Like so. And you have to be really careful because I'm putting this in sideways and it's almost too wide. So be very careful because if you have it where it's touching the sides of the um, Big Shot, it will eat your embossing folder. So be super careful when you're feeding this through. Okay. So there you go. So now I have this pretty kind of water um, pool party background, and then I have my jellyfish in the front. Very, very cool little look. The other thing I did was I cut a little label um, from the Stitch So Sweetly die. So the same die set that cut this label, I cut this little one. And we're gonna stamp a sentiment that says, uh, Hoping all your birthday fishes come true. And again, I love those little play on words. So we are going to just stamp here in pool party. It's light, but it's legible, which is important, right? 
Okay, and then the other thing I did, which I didn't even get a piece out, is I had a piece of pool party to back the um, jellyfish. Just kind of give it a little pop. So you can see the pool party here in the background of my Stitch So Sweetly guy. Now I just want to, I'm gonna just cut it over here off, off to the side here. I'm cutting it at three and an eighth by four and an eighth because the label itself cuts at three by four. I'm gonna actually cut it down a little bit thinner. So maybe a little less than three. So I'm gonna cut this at three. Three by four and an eighth. There we go, perfect. Just a little thin border, that's all we need. I'm gonna use my seal to glue this on. And then I'm gonna put this on with dimensionals. I love the texture on this card, it's really, really cool. Yes, Carolyn. I have done the same, so that's why I say, fair warning, if you're gonna put your embossing folder in sideways, be really careful. <laughs> All right, and then we have our little label. I love these jellyfish. Um, I think this would be fun to, um, to, to stamp the sea turtles as well. And I was playing around, I'll show you guys my little prototype here. I was playing around um, these jellyfish I stamped using the, um, Mm, the oh gosh baby wipe technique you know with the re-inkers and baby wipes so I put the ink on the baby wipe and stamped into it and it get these really kind of watery looking um, images so that's another fun thing that you can do I was playing around you guys I was making little jellyfish scenes but this was way too much color <laughs> I'm glad I decided on this one so there you go that's project number two really really fun with that old world embossing folder I hope you like that Okay, that's it for me. You guys have a fabulous week. We'll see you next week for more fun. Bye-bye.